How you doing? This is Jamal Keys helping you believe in you. I'm here with Jim Muckle. Jim Muckle, the leading authority in North America on mind mapping. What is mind mapping? Mind mapping is this fabulous tool. It helps you accelerate your understanding of information. Okay. So if you're a student in a classroom, you're in a project team, you're in a medical environment, you're in a police environment, you're in trying to improve your memory, whatever it is you're doing around handling information, mapping, mind mapping, will help you to accelerate your move from information to understanding. And because you get to understanding faster and things are clearer, you have more time to apply that understanding. We're all information professionals, we're all knowledge professionals. Okay. So in today's living, learning, and working environments, being able to understand things more quickly gives you better results when you apply that understanding and helps you get it done faster. Now, now, can mind mapping help students, adults? Who, who all can mind mapping help? Yes, to all of you. Okay. Anyone who handles information, anyone who's involved in learning in any way, it doesn't have to be structured in a classroom or a training session, anyone who's trying to make their way through a report or to prepare for a presentation or to do a summary that they're going to present to somebody else to share with their colleagues, anybody can benefit from using that. So I, I pretty well don't start a project anymore without doing a lab first. Let's me brainstorm, get my material out there, organize it, move it around, see how the pieces fit together. I produce a better product, get there faster, much better result. So mind mapping really helps people be more productive. It does. It's absolutely it. So you're using more of your natural capacity, more of what your brain is capable of doing to produce more of the results that you want in any area where they hold information. Now, let me ask you something. Can mind mapping cut down stress? Because, you know, we live in a society where so much stress, um, in economic times, especially right now, people are so stressed out trying to get things done. Can mind mapping help people as far as, far as stress goes? Very much. And the, the way this works is that we, we often do workshops around mapping, reading faster. My friend and colleague, Howard Burke, is the fastest reader. Yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll help people learn how to remember things more easily. Uh -huh. So at the end of, of a course, they'll, they'll think, oh, that's really good. I learned how to do that. I learned quickly. I can easily use techniques harder than that. We'll teach them how to read faster. Oh, okay. And, and they'll, 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 they'll easily, it's everyone who takes the course, pretty much, in the space of two and a half, three, four hours, will double their speed easily and can practice and do better than So what we notice though, people people find the memory thing is, is a neat thing. They find the reading thing is a really neat thing. What they report though that is most significant is they go back to their workplaces and they're more in control. So, really? So their stress is down because they, they are, they're leveraging their capacity more effectively as knowledge workers, knowledge professionals. So they're more in charge. Whereas a lot of people feel overwhelmed. Exactly. We live in a society where it's so overwhelming, so many things catch our attention and try to get our attention, that I'm thinking mind mapping is a really, really good tool to help students, adults, That's right. business people, Absolutely. and pretty much every, every walk of life. Absolutely. How can somebody get in contact with you to get the information uh, for mind mapping? Uh, I appreciate that. So what, what I've done, I've been teaching mapping to a variety of place groups as a whole collection of uh, people with different kinds of requirements for information knowledge. Okay. And what I noticed was that teaching them, when I, I get them to do a map after a session, they're great on, on being able to use it, but they're a little fuzzy sometimes on remembering the steps. Yes, yes. So what I did was I, I created an acronym. Coincidentally, it's my last name. Okay. So, Muckle. <laughs> muckle. That's right. It's the Muckle Principle. That's, Hear that? That's it. So, <laughs> so, Muckle Mapping is the following. The M is for putting the main idea in the middle. Okay, the M is for the main idea in the middle. That's it. We use images and pictures. Okay. Color is really important. A variety okay. of color differentiation in the brain. Okay. So, we've got MUC. The K is for keywords. You don't put in sentences or even long phrases, just the key words in your map. Okay. L is for linkages and relationships. Okay. You want to see how the branches fit together, and E is because it's really easy. So, muckle mapping is the, the way that I now present this tool, and my learners, 
get it faster. They understand it more clearly and always on their best. At the end of a workshop where we're saying, what did you learn? They get a chuckle out of how easy it is to remember M-U-C-K-L-E and what it means in terms of remembering steps. So, so to track this down, people can go to my website, MuckleMapping. MuckleMapping.com. Dot com. That simple. And I guess this tool will help them be more productive. Yes. In a society that a lot of people just don't get a lot done. It helps them get all of their memory and get everything that they can remember. They're more productive and they get more done and they cut down on stress. Absolutely. Absolutely. You heard it here first. Helping you believe in you. This is Jamal Keys.